There's just something special about Valley kids who make it to the next level. Years of practice and sacrifice can mean the opportunity to continue to play the game they love. Angel Ibanez from Sherryland recently got his chance when the Houston Astros picked him in the 28th round of this year's draft. It, it, it's hard to, to step away from, from UTPA, from my coaches, you know, from the players that I'm leaving behind, from uh, just that, that experience of playing collegiate baseball. You know, pretty much, you know, being on top, starting all over from the bottom and working my way up again. But like I said, I'm ready for the challenge to, to start over and hopefully put the three years that I had at UTPA into work with the, the new year that I'm going to have with the Astros. I think three years was good enough. I got uh, enough experience. You know, I got enough. I matured more than I thought I would. Um, I learned a lot those three years that I was there, and I think I'm, I'm more than ready. He loved the game, first of all, and that was, that was a, a, a big thing. He loved the game. I was very hard on him, very hard, and he kept coming back. He just kept coming back and up to the point where, you know, I had to change my attitude because I was hurting him more than, and I don't want him to be, you know, say, you know what, dad, I don't want to play anymore. So going, growing up, it was grades, school, mom. Yeah. Practice, baseball, practice, practice, dad. So my style changed, you know, to get him to the, uh, to the high school level and from the high school level, it was just like Pan Am. Is he ready for this level? The same thing with high school. Is he ready for this level? So luckily, everything that I taught him, everything that we did, all the, all the days that we spent in the sun and traveling and talking and you need to work on this, you need to do this, it all paid off. And he excelled in high school. You know, I remember one time in one of the tournaments, he hit three home runs in the, in the tournament. We opened up against Mercedes and... I was hitting it in, in the four hole at the time, and I came out bases loaded and ended up hitting a home run. Uh, beginning of the game, hit a grand slam, ended up coming up again, I hit another home run. And you know, we're all talking to the dugout, you know, no, he can't do it three times, he can't do it three times. Well, it turns out I come out my third at bat, I end up hitting another home run. Uh, I only had about seven RBIs that game, I was like three for three, three home runs, you know, I was. The best I felt at the plate, just feel free, just you know, just playing without any uh, any uh, distractions. And then the next day, play again. My first at bat, I end up hitting one more. His high school exploits might have propelled him to his role with the Bronx, but it was a stellar junior season, which included a 16-game hitting streak, a 3.32 batting average, and 38 RBIs that caught the attention of the Astros. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was in North Carolina. I was playing in the Coastal Plains League out there. Uh, I had just got in there the Thursday before the draft, actually. And um, the third day, I got a phone call about 2.30 from the Astros saying, we're going to take you in the next round. And looked on my computer, saw my name pop up, and I was just... I couldn't wait to get off the phone with the Astros, so I called my parents, you know, because I know they were more excited than, you know, I would be. I mean, it's, I still can't believe it, to tell you the truth. You know, I, I went out there thinking I'm going to come back for my senior year and then get a phone call from the Astros during the draft, you know, hoping it would come. You know, I didn't think much of it. And then just, it, it was unbelievable. You know, when I'm in between those lines, like, I just feel like, you know, nothing else matters. Like, it's just me, you know, my teammates, and the game. You know, I just lose track of everything, you know, no matter what problem, you know, how everything's going. It's just in between those lines, I feel like I'm just somebody else. I cherish every moment of it. I know from one day to the next, you know, I, it could be my last. So from here on, if I'm able to keep playing, or, you know, I get released, trading, whatever happens, I cherish every moment of it.